<coughs> All right, so who's the guest this week? We got a good one. The guest yeah. is me. You're Welcome, joking. John Prosser, to the show. What a beautiful guest. Handsome. He's having a great hair day. Dude, I, I don't. What's I'm what? See- What's wrong? Uh, yeah, you good? I just no. literally right before we when we started, I said, "Yo, I well, let's get in show mode." And you said, "I've been in show mode," and then you immediately fucked it up. Well, I thought we had a guest, but now I've just found out that I have to. I've signed up and committed to the next hour of my life with the single other person on the world that I, I don't really agree with anymore. Well, listen, we had uh, we had Tim Cook coming on the show. Uh, he was <laughs> he was penciled in, but that's Did the we? problem with being penciled in, right? Pencils can be erased. And so uh, he erased it, and uh, it's just us this week. Sorry about that. I just want to start off the show by apologizing to everyone for you. Uh, For what? What did I do? You have lost your damn mind recently. I mean, mean, it's always been gone, but it's fallen off the wagon fully. I thought we were buds. That do- okay. So let can you show my screen, please? We're, we got a new system for showing the screen. I just want to talk about some tweets and read them to you because you have tweeted some batshit things recently. Okay, go ahead. Here's the first tweet just a few hours ago today. Okay, I'm just going to say it. We're taking it too far with the cameras on phones. Many camera, much bump. <laughs> Let's just go with one good camera on the back on the phone and go back to buying actual cameras to do camera things. This is the biggest, John, I literally, I quote tweeted this. Of course, it can't show me because I'm not logged in. I quote tweeted this and said, no, I like the cameras. It gives me so much versatility. It makes me happy. And everyone else was saying super big L, even your super fans are like, this is a bad tweet. I disagree with all of you. That just I mean, it was my tweet to begin with. Yeah, but it doesn't make... That's just a silly thing to say. You're saying, it's let's go back silly. to the iPhone 5S or 6. No, you're not listening. I No, that implies that we go back to a shitty camera. I'm saying no, one good. camera on the back, but make the camera good. Okay, so but you still have a camera really in your good. pocket. You can still do camera things, but I just like... It's getting too much. It's getting too big, and it's kind of it's, like... It looks silly. It looks silly. All these cameras really on the back doesn't. look silly. It really looks like a normal. It's it's not a big no, deal. No, it looks at all. normal because you're used to it. But we, I don't think I should be used to it. I think it looks silly. Well, then switch to the iPhone SE, man. No, because okay, one ca- fine. I want one camera. I want but one it's not camera. That, then I want, switch to the I iPhone with this, one camera. Hey, you bastard! <laughs> I've never said that word ever. Okay, <laughs> listen. I just like I just read this and I'm like, oh god, like I have to talk to him. Then I get him. It's genuinely embarrassing. Is it though? I'm sorry. Like it's it's embarrassing that I have like because now I'm associated with you and it's like you're the, with the weird guy that tweets weird shit and I'm sorry, Sam. I just think I you know who I think is upset by that tweet. I think the people that just slap an Instagram filter on a picture and go, "I'm a photographer." Those are the people that are upset by this tweet. No, no, John. Everyone is upset with this. Let's tweet. just go back to doing to ha- cameras are th- <sighs> listen point and shoots camcorders they don't get enough love anymore man i'm just saying if we Did you can just go camcorder yes let's go back to the fucking let's go back to vhs tapes like on our shoulder with the big cameras like the polaroids would be cool you know okay that i i'm i'm pushing it too far i'm t- yeah. that's a joke yeah but listen no, you've been no, listen, pushing it too sam far. listen i'm okay that part is a joke but i am serious about my tweet i think that we should Go back to giving cameras a little bit more love. Use cameras to do camera things, and just go to one really decent camera lens on the back of these phones. What I think we're going already, too far. What? But what you're asking for wouldn't satisfy a lot of people because, like, my favorite camera is the ultra wide. Well, I don't only want the ultra wide lens. Have I you want used, a normal lens? Too. You have an ultra wide on your Sony that is way better than the ultra wide on your phone. No, but it can't get as close. The macro is not nearly. I, actually, get a my macro iPhone lens, my, but. Why I no one is complaining about the quality of the cameras I in the am. situation right now, except for you. That was that my the complaint. Problem. Okay, let's move on to the next week because clearly, clearly we're not going to agree. This one, I'll be honest, was more atrocious. Really, you were upset about a different one. You said 
Y'all slept on the MagSafe battery. Pack. Okay, first of all, that's an old, that's older tweet. That's older. That's from last month. Okay, which basically means it doesn't exist anymore. It's from thirteen. And also, days this is ago. great, John. That's the worst accessory that I think Apple's ever. Tell me released. why. Tell me why. I. It doesn't stay on very well. It doesn't have a lot of milliamp hours. I disagree. It's pretty expensive. It doesn't feel satisfying. The build is just okay. Okay. Yes, I still have mine because I didn't return it. In there time. you like, go. Exactly. I got it and I thought I liked it. And then the more I used it. Okay. Well, no, first listen. of all, the more I didn't use it because it was not enjoyable. I don't. And Here's I the problem. Saying, Why do you need a magazine battery? It's great. First of all, it's it's great. I know that it doesn't have the milliamp hours that you want, but the the fact that it can... It, the fact that it's so efficient is what makes it so cool. Like I, a lot of comments under that tweet were like, "Get the Anchor seventy thousand X or whatever the fuck it is." I yeah, don't know what it is, yeah. but that thing doesn't run efficiently. It gets super hot and it's just always pushing power in the butt. You know, it's always pushing <laughs> power in the phone butt. This is just casually like just tapping power in the butt. You know, just a little bit. It just visits the the phone butt every now and again, puts some power. It's more efficient. The milliamp hours don't need to be large because it's not always powering it. It just acts as one big phone battery, and it's efficient and nice, and I like it. When I put this on, the thing that makes this worth $100, that's what, it's, that's what it is, $99, right? Yes. The thing that makes this worth $99 to me is that when I put it on, I don't stress about battery at all. I know I'm good. It takes that stressing? anxiety away. You're stressing about battery on your 14 Pro, right? Normally, without the magazine battery. No, pack? I'm just saying if I'm going somewhere, you know, like it's just I will if I'm if I'm going out, I will usually always put this on because it removes the anxiety from my life. Why don't you just get the iPhone Pro Max? I, that's, I think that I would. Could, be, I would still use this. I don't. I don't think he would. I would yes, Pro I would Max. still use it. I. It's. I'm not saying that I end up needing it, but just the fact that I have it and I know that it's good. That it would get me through the day if something happens that's terrible. First of all, aren't you the guy that bitched about the satellite feature and how cool that's going to be if if you need it? It just it's just helpful and it removes the anxiety for if you don't have any service. That's what this is. This is my satellite that is, feature. That is not the same. But the satellite feature, I guess, is going to be good. I don't know. We haven't we haven't um tested it or had it. Yeah, it's, I mean, wait, I've, it's this I've month, got a right? plan. No, well, they said no. They're, so they're, it's been conflicting. In one video from Apple, they said it's coming in iOS 16.1. In another video, they said it's coming in November. Or sorry, in the official keynote, they said it's coming in November. Yeah. So I have a feeling it's probably going to launch this month and it's just going to be a little bit early because Apple's done that with, I'm trying to think, they, they did it with a product. I think the the MacBook Pro M2, I think launched earlier than they said it was going to launch. Yes, it did. You're right. Um, so yeah, I, I think that they're, and, and there's been a lot of evidence happening internally with iOS 16.1 that the satellites happen, like coming along pretty well. Um, I'm very excited to test it. I'm not sure. I, I've actually been thinking about it a lot. Are you going to go do some more like severe crashes or? <laughs> so I've been thinking about this video <laughs> separate from the crash detection. You're going to go do crash you think, a mountain? And I, and I want to hear your thoughts because I, I have an answer, but I want to hear your answer. Okay. Do you think? Do I think? It is ethical. It is ethical. And I pledge allegiance to the flag. Of the United the States of America. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really want to test this feature and see if someone would actually come and help. Are you allowed to just say a part of the pledge of allegiance or do you have to keep going? <laughs> you can We're stopping. <laughs> <laughs> zero, okay. zero patriotism allowed. Okay. Because... Uh, I I think it's I believe it's a crime to call nine one one without needing it, right? Is that a yes, thing? Yes, that's a crime. Yes, is it illegal? Sam, to call yes, I will give. I am the Google. Um, it could result in criminal penalties. If yeah, okay, so yes. So here's what I'm saying. Somebody's got to test and see if this actually, like, can you actually connect to a satellite and they will come to your coordinates? So are you saying that to test this, you are going to actually get yourself in a pickle so that you don't get in trouble for calling 911? 
That was a thought that I had. I mean, you were crashing cars, just crash harder, you like, know? I was like, what it's if I just d- bleed out one. like a little bit? Like just a little bit okay, of a Okay, Sam, out. take cars up to the top of a mountain where there's no service, <laughs> crash them, and then use the satellite, two in one, crash detection and satellite. That's a viral video. Here's the question. If you make if, it. If it triggers the emergency SOS when you're in a car crash, but you're in an area with no cell service. What does it do? Will, will it go, will it just like show the satellite? This sounds like, like a, a question for iUpdate to answer, really. It does. Dude, because I, I've realized the videos that I have the most fun making are those videos. Like I love You got to crash spending. cars and make money from it. Of course it's fun. Well, that was Luke's video, but like, I'm talking about my Apple watch ultra durability test. Like Mm -hmm. that was just, I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm me more, or I feel more. You like like to try to break stuff. Is that what you're saying? No, just test. Is that why you break hearts? So I break hearts. Yes. Is that why you break hearts? I haven't broken a heart in like. At least a a couple of weeks. No, no. My heart has been broken (laughs) in the past month. (laughs) (laughs) I have not. Or wait, Uh, no, I think think it's. Wait, hold on. It's a month to the day. My a month anniversary of your heartbreak. Yeah, yay! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dana. That was her name, Dana. Dana was the she hussy. Fifty. Dana hussy. Dana. That is that. I'm pretty sure that's offensive. Calling a person that's not real a hussy. What I feel like that that sounds like a word you shouldn't say out loud. I basically just called like my imaginary friend a hussy and you said it was offensive. What does... Can we dial it back on the wokeness? What? A girl... A, a hussy is a girl or woman who behaves in a disrespectful or inappropriate way. She was disrespectful and inappropriate to my friend. Or so who has many casual sexual relationships. <laughs> the example sentence is, that brazen little hussy. <laughs> Jesus, Google. Sounds like Google sounds me. like it was allowed. Okay, Dude, also, are, it, it's like, are you allowed to call nine one one if you don't mean it? Is like, are you allowed to call someone a hussy if you don't mean it? Is oh, that a crime? Look, it says derogatory on Google, and there's a little warning sign. Of course, it's hussy. derogatory, Sam. Uh, so it's I was not right. a fun, happy name. I was right. You're a hussy. Okay, fine. I guess I'm a brazen little hussy today. You are a brazen little hussy. You know what I'm Speaking a hussy of, for, John? What are you a hussy for? We both tried to transition at the same time. <laughs> uh, I'm a hussy for the Apple Watch Ultra. Are, uh, are, still you, are you still going to talk about it? I just still can't believe you didn't like it. I, I like... Look at my Apple Watch, dude. I like the jewelry aspect of it. Yeah, but... I don't want to look like I'm already the shape of a Lego. Like I'm a, I look like oh. a minifigure, like a Lego minifigure, and the watch is too square. It looks like like an accessory that I bought at the Lego store and just went. Does it look good on me? It does look good on you. Yeah, you are very. You're a hussy. That's a hussy watch. Also, can we talk, Sam? Sure. I feel like we've, first of all, I feel like we've gone a hundred miles an hour since we started the show. Like we, we went right into conversations. <laughs> Let's take a breather. Okay. Everybody what breathe with us. About? Do you have what any, do, you, fu- do you have any peaceful music on your soundboard? No, no, no. Can no you pull PR. something up on our new, uh, to test our new, uh. All I've got is the German national anthem. Let's not, I don't think you have the right one. Can we, can we, you, you still have the wrong German national anthem on your soundboard? Hey, you look like absolute dog shit right now. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't expect. I don't know if we could say that. Why? Uh, how do I ha- help me? How do I not look like that? Well, you, you're dressing like a bit of a ragamuffin. A ragamuffin. Listen, I don't know. I don't. The nothing fits me. Yeah. Well, have you ever heard of Roan, the new sponsor of Roan, the Genius Bar? Welcome Roan to the show. Hello, Roan. John, nice those shirts you, that are uncomfortable, the shirts that are tight, the shirts that are never your size, the, the hassle of hanging these clothes and, and struggling with looking good. What if all that could be solved with Roan.com slash genius? Who I makes would these love that. amazing commuter shirt, their flagship, that is the most comfortable, breathable, and flexible shirt they say that is known to man. Known to man. Is it wrinkle free? John, it's more than wrinkle free. Is it hassle it's got free? The, it's got the hassleness free. It's got the mobility built in. So you're just kind of bloop, 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 bloop. That's you in your room. That's Rome. how you feel? You, okay. you without your room is like, <laughs> have you ever seen like the padded rooms? That's you without yeah. room. Listen, it's so good. We, we love these dress shirts. They're such a good time. And hey, 
you guys, because you know, you're moving around, you can get the commuter shirt and get you through your work day straight into whatever comes next. Maybe a little 18 holes after work, maybe a little putt putt, maybe, maybe a little, little date. putt putt. Maybe Listen, a little date. I struggle with, I str- I am the shape of a refrigerator, so I struggle. <laughs> and for some reason they have, they have found a way to make clothes fit me. So thank you, Roan. So head over to roan.com slash genius, use code genius to save 20% off your entire order. That's 20% off your entire order when you head to rhone.com slash genius and use code genius. It's time to find your corner office comfort. That custom fit makes it look like they took 20% off of me too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you, Roan, for sponsoring. (laughs) Thank you, Roan. Do you hear any music? Because I don't hear any music. Okay, we have peaceful music. Sam, sit back. The show has been going too fast. We all need to take a second to breathe. Audience, listeners, viewers, breathe with us. No stress. No stress. I'm Shh. bored. No stress, Sam. I'm about I'm to... Yelling. Listen, in the next segment, I'm going to yell at you, so let's just breathe for a second. Hold on. What? Do you, what? You can't say that. Now I'm mad. Are you now anxious? Now I'm already fired up again. Okay. This is my problem. If you haven't noticed, I am wearing my AirPods Max for this episode. Yeah! No, don't cheer it yet. But we love AirPods Max here. I mean, I, yeah, okay. I really like them. Dude, okay. they're so trendy. I feel so cool. Okay. Sam, yeah. I've been wearing like big boy headphones like for production on the show. <sighs> oh, here Sam you. convinced okay. me to wear my AirPods Max, okay? Mm-hmm. But you can't just wear your AirPods Max. You can't just do that. No, 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 no. You have to buy a $40 cable. This is a $40 cable, by the way, uh, for these things to work. Uh, now, First of all, I made a mistake. I bought the white cable. Audio listeners, I bought a white cable that's sticking out, and you can clearly see that I have a white cable plugged in. Which I told it you is, about. It is a when, paper when thin cable. To be fair, the lightning end on here is technologically advanced. It converts the digital signal to analog, whatever the fuck. Who cares? Wow. The rest of the cable is cheap and terrible. And I paid forty dollars for this. And then, and then this part of the cable goes into this extender that runs three feet that way to plug into my to plug into my interface so I can actually hear myself and hear you. This is ridiculous. This is so backwards and silly to be able to do this, Sam. And also these are five hundred dollars or five hundred feet. I don't know. They're expensive as hell. They're expensive yeah. headphones. Yeah. Why isn't this cable braided or something? Yeah, the cable sucks. I've got to like. Up I would have right paid here. fifty, sixty dollars <laughs> if the cable wasn't like this. If I'm gonna, if these are super expensive, nice, trendy headphones, why does the cable that only works with this shitty? Don't you want that to look good too? Braid yeah. this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Braid this mother trucker. And also, I have. I just yeah. realized this just now. Looking at myself, my head is too big, and my AirPods Max looks silly. No, they don't. They look good. Yours, they like cave in like this. Mine like are like real far out. They're stretched. They look good. They are you. stretched. I like the way it looks. You've got. So you, should you, I wear them for the? Should I wear them on the shows from now on? Well, you have to because we're Apple stands, and as soon as Apple makes a microphone, but it's so backwards to do this. To like you, I hate you for making me do this. I hate you. It's, it's so, so I mean, backwards. What I love about them is like the transparency <sighs> mode, though. Your phone went off. Went off yeah. again. Yeah. You're getting text messages. Yeah. Turn your phone off. Yeah, this I'm is a professional in setting. Town, bro. Oh, okay. Sorry. Let me mute it. And then you're going to cry about the music not being there. Can you show the cable that I have on my screen, please? So people know exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about the Lightning 3.5 oh, millimeter one. audio cable. Dude. Yeah, this is awful. I've also been using it. I don't know how this cable survived. I've taken it everywhere. It's been on so many different planes. I use it. I look like ridiculous doing it. Wait, it's why do you like, take it on a plane, bro? Because I got to edit on the plane. You don't just use Bluetooth? But you see, I'm like, no, there's too much latency. I edit just fine with them. What? Yeah. No. Doesn't it it compensate for it? Because it's AirPods? If you were using regular Bluetooth headphones, maybe it's terrible. But I thought the AirPods compensate. No. But I do want, I want a new version of this cable and I want new AirPods Maxes. Like these are going to be two years old this year. But they're still great. Like what would you change about them? I want them to be lighter. I want them to do tight. Ti- ti- is, wait, is aluminum? What's lighter than aluminum? Titanium. Oh, stainless steel. I think they should replace the stainless steel with titanium. With alu- okay, then they'd be real expensive. I feel like. But they're already five hundred fifty dollars. Just they're they're still a little little heavy. I'm fine I, I with want the weight. Them, I want them. 
Well, I have a small little baby head, so they're a little heavy for me. And I want them to be lighter. I mean, I to be fair, they're really the only pair of over-ear headphones I use. Uh, well, so I stand by. I really love these. I love you got them for me as a gift for my birthday. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. you, by the way. I love these no things. I love to wear. I love like as casual stuff. I also like in the middle of an edit, I'll slap them on because when I'm editing, people that because I care about my audio, I edit with three different pairs of headphones. I don't know if you know this. Well, four, I guess. I use my my in studio monitors, my like desktop speakers, and then I use uh, my my Barodynamic headphones, and then I will throw these on, and then I usually throw a, a pair of AirPods Pro on, and it's just so I can get a, a a feel, an idea from what everyone else is going to hear. John, because I care about their experience. No one notices. That. I do. I do. And so also, for you the people and on the podcast do too, you little shithead, because when you edited the audio, everyone went, oh, w- that we appreciate John okay. way more now. They said to that. To be fair, it was all in a new environment with three people live. I could have killed the equipment. I could have killed that audio. You know it. Yeah. You know it. How, remember that one time where you had completely unusable audio and you sent it to me and I magically made it work? Yeah, that was like a year ago. That was really nice. That, first of all, that was not a year twice. ago. That was like a couple months ago and you sent me a burger. That was Did fucking I, was awesome, my, dude. Was that my payment? <laughs> yeah, he. I fixed his audio and he sent me a burger from Red Robin, bro. Dude, Friendship Red tippy top. Slaps. Red, well, listen. If you move here, I'm just gonna keep bringing this up every. Show are you gonna Are you gonna, gonna send me Robin. burgers every day? I better wake up to I'm a fucking burger every burger. day. You know how like uh, the Office episode where Michael likes to wake up to the smell of bacon. <laughs> I want to wake up to a cheeseburger from you oh every God. day. And I want to wake up at like 11.30 a.m. Not quite noon, but not quite Mm. 11 either. Just like borderline morning. Speaking of morning, I I have a question about your schedule because you've been, I feel like something's different. Oh, I mean, go ahead. Sure. You, well, you've been uploading more, which is cool. Yes. But also. Yes. Rumor has it you've been waking up at like 5 a.m. every day. Four. Yeah, I have. That is true. Rumor confirmed. TMZ. Why, Why are you waking up at four? John? That's in, that's okay. But listen, I just it just flows better. So I have realized I have to basically I have to outsmart myself <laughs> because what I have learned is that it, if I wake up at a normal time and I'm like, okay, I'll film later today. When it okay. comes to later today, I don't give a single shit, and I will not film. I will I will I will give myself. I'm like an addict, dude. I will throw out a million excuses why I don't have to film. I will talk myself out of it, but I'm really good when I first wake up, very motivated. So what I do is now that Brian's writing the script, the script is delivered at night when I go to bed or okay. some middle of the night, whatever. I wake okay. up before I am. I adjust the script if I need to, which usually I don't. I shower, I film, I edit. The show's out by 9, 10 a.m. And then I have the rest of the day, dude. It's so nice. Dude, it's for, I'm like the I, rock. I get getting up early, but like 4 a.m., man. I'm that's... like the rock. Dude, I can't. The I, rock, I what, listen, listen, what do successful people do? The rock gets up at 4 a.m., John Prosser gets up at 4 a.m., I'm basically the same. Actually, you're more like Tim Cook, I think, Tim, Tim and, dude, what if, Tim and you, you could sync your alarm, you guys could wake up at the well, same time? Well, I could have asked him if he would have showed up today, he was the guest, <laughs> he was penciled in. I feel like Tim Cook probably doesn't know who you are. Uh, let's hope he doesn't. I don't think he knows. Actually, I think he knows like some people. Like I feel like he he actually does know Justine. Of course he does. He what? Yeah. Well, I feel like we talked about that. We were like, what, does he know? But no, he he's a cool. I mean, he knows me now. He, he does. <laughs> I wonder if he still has your DNA somewhere in his house. Ew, like dropped a skin cell somewhere. Don't. You did Re- it, reverse, by the way, dude. Reverse, no, reverse. I'm not. I a didn't bad say person. in his house. I'm not a bad person. Well, if it I was said on I him, have eventually... Timco DNA on me from shaking his hand. Well, but that, if he, if you have Tim Cook DNA on you, he has Sam Cole DNA on him, and he took it home at, at some point. Um. Well, you know, we should talk about the news. We should talk about slow. the news. Yes, it's a little well, slow. I mean, uh, it's a little slow, just like Sam. Are we getting this October event or not? I'm feeling like the answers are probably on a no. Because I think we would have gotten invites today. I think if we would have, if if there was any chance of Mac Pro, we'd have an event for sure. But I don't think we're getting a Mac Pro and I don't think we're getting an event. Also, it hurts my heart because 
I want them to stand. I don't want to see M2 Pro and M2 Max in a press release. That just upsets me. You know? I mean, it does kind of make... I, I made a video about this today. You actually. did. Yeah, you did. I don't know if you caught it. John, I have a confession. Uh, do you, do you, what kind of confession is this? Do I need to like cut to you completely? No, you can. You need to be on the screen for this one. You need to come back. Okay, here we go. Please, I'm listening. We're we're all with you, Sam. You have our support. I I haven't been watching your videos as much lately. <sighs> Why? Because you make videos about the same thing as me, and I already know what you're gonna say before you say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do. Th- I watch your videos, you asshole. I know you're a better person. Why? Why do you watch my videos? It, because even though we talk about the same thing, we don't say the same thing. We're still we still have our own spin on it. I know. But I, I have a like whole just, like, team a... doing this. I have a writer now, and you don't even watch. I, but I feel like it is the effort. No, you're a genius. I'm definitely I'm not just... saying the same thing as you because I'm not even saying anything. I'm just saying words that were given to me. Can Brian write for iUpdate as well? You ask him. I'm sure he would love to. Actually, I don't think that Brian. I don't, if I don't if I hope, dude, I, I hope you ask style. him, and then I get him to sabotage you. You just say offensive <laughs> stuff the whole time, <laughs> <laughs> live. Tim Cook He's is the a hussy. And the, oh, dude, uh, yeah, I, need hussy. To, I need to watch. I need to watch your videos. I just more. don't understand I don't know. what the problem is. Like, what do you not I, like me anymore, or is it like? No, I just. <sighs> are you the person that left in the comments that I'm so so fat? <laughs> yeah, I opened I the comments so, so today uh, for a second just to browse, and someone said, "Yeah, you hey know, John, you're oh, looking yeah. so so fat. Two so's." Wow, that's mean. I mean, well, you're thick. We we've established that. But he didn't I mean, say so so mean. thick. He said so so fat. That's kind of mean, though. Why would he say that? Be, I don't know because he uh, his I don't know he he doesn't have proper parents. But neither do What's I. Like- I don't call people. <laughs> I don't call people fat, and I let's my psycho. Are dead. Let's psychoanalyze this comment. Okay, what do you? Because I you think I've gotten comments through? about things about me. I bet no one only... ever has said you're so so fat. No, no, I'm uh, different con like about my hair. People be like, "Oh, you're going bald." <laughs> That's people how they say, say it. Is that how you read it? Oh, you're going and, bald. And my only theory as to why somebody comments that is that they're like. Legit, like, fun fact: I'm not going bald. Like, my my fun hairline fact. has actually been the same since I've been a child. Like, obviously, you can confirm. I thing, I but... saw him as a child. I mean, oh, I saw pictures no, I, of him. I, it's funny. I was looking at pictures because everybody's like, "Oh, the receding hairline." I'm like, "Bro, bitch, I was born with a receding hairline." <laughs> um, so it's, it's not a all, receding like, hairline; it's a retreating hairline. Men and hair is like a thing. Like that's like a thing that men go through. And I don't know. We should like support each other instead of being like, "You look like dog shit today." <laughs> like, <laughs> also, they're probably bald when they write it. That's what I'm saying. Like I, because I feel like is it's like an insecurity for me. It's something that I will notice on other people, but I'll, I'll never comment about it. And I'll like because I know it's probably an insecurity for somebody else. Wait, you know it's been you've had the same hairline and you're insecure about it. Like the audience yeah, has made so. you insecure. Uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, like it's Bro, the same kind of thing where, that you, shit. where you log in and you see that one, like, dude, same thing has happened to me. Where like I've been like, oh, check to comments, and the one comment I see is instant regret. Damn, bro, damn, bro, so sorry about your hair. <laughs> and then like, you, and then you're like, fuck this, I'm not looking for the rest of the day. Yeah, exactly. Like that. It's just I'm just like, oh, come on. Like it, it doesn't legitimately affect me like i remember when i first started youtube comments would i mean they would really affect me now now i every you know it's every once in a while something cuts deep if if it's like something about me that it's been like you know if it's just been like a bad mental health day and then i see a comment that's you know like tough and i don't know it's just i i feel like the only reason people are leaving those comments right is because they're probably unhappy with themselves like why i don't i don't shit on other people because i I feel like I'm general. I mean, pretty. pretty you should on. We should on each other, but we're we're buds. We can do that. Sam yeah, texted like, me I today. I leave a comment. Can I? Can I, permission to show our text thread? You know the thing yeah. that I want to show, right? You can Drake me, or you show our DMs. How can I? Making sure we didn't say anything offensive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> us on Twitter versus us on text because we're always going at it on Twitter. Yeah, but. uh <laughs> Oh, I think I leaked our project. Now nah, we're good. Mm. 
Little, no, I saw the bottom. Little teaser, leave it teaser. In, leave it in, leave okay, it in. Leave there. it, leave it okay. in. Uh, so want to pause it and see what it said. Whoops. Uh, if you're listening on audio, that's worth going to youtube.com slash genius bar to see what we just showed. Anyway, um, that is true. Like, us in tech, like, personally, you and I are so cool. The yeah. stuff online, like, I feel like people think, and we've had comments about how hostile we are towards each other. <laughs> And they think it's real. They think it's a real thing. Yeah. But we're Which not fair. We're, I mean, we're totally cool in real life. It's just on Twitter. It's just, it's entertaining. People like it. So we do it. And also, yeah. I hate you on Twitter. So, yeah. And I hate you on Twitter too. Well, okay. Then. I hate so you we're on fair. You, apparently, I, I hate you on YouTube too. You I do. Know. You don't. I, I got to get. How can I get you to watch? What do you want me to do? Because <sighs> you even like, I feel like you mentioned me on like 60% of episodes. I now. do. So, Brian, I thought you didn't watch. <laughs> I, I see. I see, I watch when I need to watch. Okay, Brian see what loves you're saying the, about me. I don't know. Also, so <laughs> this is like there's like Easter eggs splattered everywhere, dude. Brian, right? Yeah. He he will throw in a Sam Cole joke in on the show, but also in FrontPageTech.com articles all the time. You're mentioned a lot oh, on the really? site. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. I don't know why, but you've just become a character in all of these jokes. That's amazing. No, yeah. I appreciate. It. I love Brian. anything time. Um, anytime thing something is like long and lanky, Sam is mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> anything something is pasty, Sam. I I mean I'm like tall, but I'm not like insanely tall. I am lanky. I will I will say that you're insanely. T- Speaking of, you get a you get your Meta Quest Pro thing to today. Yeah, we should talk about this. Okay, Sam got a question for you. What's up, man? What's in your wallet? That's Probably me, garbage. Uh, yeah. Sam walks around with garbage, and that's why I want to tell you about today's sponsor. Capital One is returning to Genius Bar. You know who yes. Capital One is. You've seen the commercial, Samuel Jackson. You know the whole thing. But today, they wanted to focus on the technology and benefits because this is a technology and benefit show, Sam. Did you know? It is. We feel very beneficial. John, what are these supposed benefits? They like to fight fraud with random forests, models that quickly detect suspicious activities like little ninjas in the forest. Like, you want to fraud Sam? No. They can also identify how mobile outages happen because I've ha- we've told private stories on the show oh, before about how you. our banking has outages. Uh, I went to use my card for like a whole 12 hours one day. My debit card wouldn't work because the mobile banking is out and it just doesn't work. Speed up online shopping with machine learning at the edge. Make shopping with virtual card numbers smoother and more secure. The technology is based on logistic regression models and running interference in the browser. Super secure, never out, and it will fight fraud. Listen. Capital One is sponsoring today's show because they love you and we love them. And we think that you should go to CapitalOne.com and uh, search machine learning. Yeah, that sounds great. Search machine learning Capital One because, John, Capital One. At the same time, what's ready? What's in, what's in what's your, in your wallet? wallet? Again, Capital what? One. What's <laughs> a, thank again, you for sponsoring. We could do it. Thank you for Capital sponsoring One. Capital One. What's in your wallet? Nailed it. Perfect. Can I go first? <sighs> First of all, I know this is an Apple show, but Apple is coming out with their own AR VR headset soon, January ish. And Sam and I have talked a lot about VR on here, and for a for a long time, for months, until recently, we shit on VR a lot. Said that we didn't understand it, we didn't get it, and we just kind of like I think we even said that we would buy the Apple headset and probably send it back. We just wanted to try it, but now Sam and I are so deep into the anus of VR, it is not even funny. I tried it, and there was you could go back episodes. I was trying to like convince Sam and explain VR to him, and it got to a point where he just bought one on the show. He bought a Meta Quest two, true, and then. We kind of just had it. We did we did the VR show with Sarah Dietschy, which that was fun. But that then was really fun. there was a point, what, a couple weeks ago? Like really, when you really got it, a couple weeks ago, right? Well, it was when we act when it was when I actually used it, other than like watching a YouTube video or yeah. like I don't know, I don't uh, browsing the web. Like it was when we played VR ping pong. Yeah, I guess. Are, are we gonna play tonight? That's are what I was saying. Do you, will you play ping, will you play ping pong with me tonight? We, I have we got to find a way to paywall it. We got to find a way to like record and then. Oh, yeah. That. No, so people- <laughs> dude, that's ours. Why do we have to fucking give no, them I know, everything? I, know. I gotta, just want one thing that is ours. There's nothing them sacred them anymore. Them. See, this is why you're a hussy. Oh, my God. You're a hussy you're for the people. Very, you're very offensive today. I'm not. I've said the same word to you many times. 
Yeah, but you've been saying words about the butt and you stuff. Said, you vulgar. said you don't watch my videos anymore. But I was, I was just, I was saying I'm ashamed of it. Like, I, I want to watch more and I just haven't been. And I'm, anyway, I'm so, okay, so we played right after the show, like a couple weeks ago, we said, yeah. okay, I was like, I'll kick your ass in VR ping pong. So yeah. we actually did it. And then at, we played for a while till your headset died. Yes. Speaking of, is it plugged in right now? Yes, I literally okay, good. I'm looking at yes. Okay, okay good. I'm ready. And I'm ready. Uh, then after we were done, Sam texted me and was like, thank you for showing me this. Like you mm -hmm. got it. So what is it? See, they, we're like, nice. How did it finally click? <sighs> yeah, I mean, it was just pretty cool. I mean, like I, it's still not the most, okay. So let me talk about the experience with MetaQuest 2. It's a really cool idea. The screens are pretty low res, if I'm being honest. Yeah, it's still a little great. glitchy. The controllers are kind of wonky. It's heavy. It, it hurts my head. And it I, also I like takes thoughts and prayers for us to get VR ping pong working, but you know. Yeah, it's just a very glitchy experience. So if you show my screen now, Meta basically made exactly what I've been looking for. Now, I mean, this is going to be a pretty direct com competitor to Apple's AR VR headset. It's yeah, this is definitely like they pushed this out to beat Apple to whatever's coming. It's called the MetaQuest Pro. It looks wild. Like, looks great. Very, very different. Look, it's got it. So, so many things initially. They say it works better with glasses. They say it's way more comfortable because it's got this backrest, which is important to me. Also, the, I mean, the battery is balanced on the back. Yeah. And it's That's not as battery good battery benefit. life, unfortunately. But I mean, listen, like, oh, it looks it, great. It, the controllers it, also look great. It's pretty cool. So like they're they're really promoting this for like work and stuff. The controllers, as you can see, are totally revamped. They look a lot better. They have cameras everywhere. Like there's just cameras everywhere. Um, I mean it's it's pretty impressive. The the v, the avatars have legs. Finally, uh huh. The avatars look great. The animations look great. Yeah. Oh, look bro, really I'm so in, and I can't believe I'm excited about what is technically a Facebook product. I know, but like it looks, I mean, just this, like it looks so comfortable. So obviously I'm going to get this. Yeah. You and I both pre-ordered it. I told you about it. Today. You did. That's I didn't the, realize the they announced the it today. And Sam was like, Hey, did you pre-order your MetaQuest Pro? And I was like, what? Yeah. And then I saw it and I pre-ordered it. But what that's interesting is that you noticed it first. Yeah, I saw it. And I, yeah, I just, I just bought it. I just bought now, it. And okay. I don't really know why, but. What do you mean? Because it's. You love, we like the experience, but, right? Yeah, but you're the only person that has this. Like, I don't play with anyone else. Yet. More people need to get on the bandwagon. And also, that's like, it is worth it just to do it. Like, just to be able to play stuff like that together. You know, that's worth $1,500. We got it, you know? Also, I want to bring this up because I think this is interesting. Okay. So Apple's VR headset is a secret. Like, everything behind the scenes is a secret, right? Yeah. But... Mark Zuckerberg and the team definitely know more than we do. You know what I mean? Like, they got little birdies somewhere. And so Probably. I'm wondering how much of this new headset is a direct response to what's coming to Apple. Like, I wonder how comparative this will be to Apple's offering. Like, how close are they? What choices did they make with this that are directly in line with Apple's choices? Because they know something we don't. Yeah. So, so here's the meta quest. MetaQuest Pro? Yeah, it's called yeah. the Quest Pro. I mean, it, it looks kind of weird still, but it also does look more comfortable. And then here The is front Apple. looks a lot like uh, what we have with uh, the renders for Apple's yeah. headset. Yeah, so then here is Apple. Oh, bro. What? Do you see this? <gasps> oh, my God. Okay, so Sam searched Apple VR headset in Google, and the first <laughs> result is an ad from Meta. Shop MetaQuest 2 from $399. Wow. Wow, that's that's Smart. a detail. So here's because the information, and to be fair, the information could be wrong, dude. Like they got this design. I mean, and yeah. but the information is very, very, very accurate. And I have to say, John, that looks pretty lightweight. It does. You know what worries me now that we have experienced VR headsets? What do you see a do you see a battery in that? Do you see a good spot for any decent battery? Because I don't. In the front. Hey, look, it's our bro renders by Ian. Okay, but listen, the 8K displays <sighs> in there. Do you, do you, with how thick the Meta Quest 2 is, and the displays are not 8K in that, they're kind of horse shit. Uh, I I'm sorry, I just don't see, I don't, I, 
when you brought up these renders being wrong, I'm starting to question because I'm like, where where's the battery? Where did they put the battery? Yeah. Ian, optimize your freaking website. It's so slow. Well, that's because he puts the full 18,000K renders on there. Yeah, it's like I just want to view an image, my guy. There right. we go. So, I mean, obviously this is a render. Ba- like, all we have is that 2D drawing. There is no depth in that. That is all we right? have, yeah. I will say, like, this is kind of dope. It is very dope, it's but, like, okay. It, it's kind of, fe- like, it, it looks like an Apple product. It I, does, but now that we've experienced headsets, that looks uncomfortable. Because there's yes, no balance there's weight no on the back. Strap. There's n- All the weight is going to be on the front of your face. Unless this thing is incredibly lightweight somehow. I would bet that this back band is not going to be the only option. Yeah, that does. I matter. bet it's going to be like the Apple Watch, where there's like a sport band. There's a yeah, battery plus right. band. Like, I I bet there's going to be more than just Hermes. a rubber band. Yeah, or her <laughs> that would be crazy. My Hermes <laughs> VR, but I mean, dude, it it looks pretty nice. Like, I I just want to be. I just want Apple to invite me to the VR headset event. I want. That's all go, you want. Just I want to be there and see it so bad. Well, Tim didn't come tonight as he was supposed to, but maybe next week when he's on, you can ask him. Maybe. Do you think saying Tim Cook is going to be on the next episode will will boost our ratings? It's a lie. So maybe. Ah, well, you ruin it when you say it's a lie. You that you kind of. Well, I don't want to. Don't want to lie to the people, man. I don't want to lie to the people. But what no, if I we like just? What if we say he's going to be on the show and we just find a guy named Tim Cook? <laughs> that would actually be really that'd be a good meme we should do that for april fools <laughs> well now it's so ruined. i mean do we think this is coming in january because i think like we haven't heard a lot recently well i mean i think i think the event will be in january but as far as the release I... but you realize what we're saying apple has not held an event in january in like 10 years but they but this is like this is new product category and they're very serious about this apple watch was announced at the end of an iphone event i know but a watch is easy to understand. They have to explain AR and VR stuff and like show us how it works. They have to introduce a marketplace for it, all of this uh. other stuff. But it makes me wonder, is that that can't be the only thing in January. What if we get headset and Mac Pro in January? That would make sense because the target market for the Mac Pro will hear about it regardless. It wouldn't be like, oh, swept under the rug. Like, you know, yeah. Apple, like, although, I mean, I feel like everybody knows that the new iPhone comes out. Like, one of my my friend, um, Kelsey, her boyfriend, like, he's not into tech at all. Okay. Does, literally doesn't care. He went Sounds in Sounds like a loser. Stood outside of the Apple store to get the iPhone 14 on day one. Okay. He had, like, an iPhone 8. So, like, it was time for an upgrade. But, like, somehow... He, this random dude who doesn't watch tech at all was like, I got to get it on day one. Well, there's like, that just blows, everywhere. that blows my mind that, but it blows my mind that a casual person, I guess so, would like show up on day one. I don't know. Uh, it's cool. Like, I love more people into like tech and iPhone 14. He got the iPhone 14 Pro. He's proud of him. Smart. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, I mean, the, Qu- the Quest Pro is supposed to ship around the 25th of this month. Yeah, we're, I'm getting. Mine says it's going to be here on yeah. Tuesday, October 25th. It better be. I pre-ordered it. Oh, I'm so, so we'll, fucking excited. Should we excited. wait and try to do that one in VR again? With like the do the avatars? show? Do the whole show yeah. in VR? Yeah, I'm down. It'll I'm probably be a smoother experience than what we did with uh, Sarah. That was a goddamn catastrophe. But we yeah, pulled it off. Also, this is this is new tech. I don't know. I mean, I still don't like. I still don't really get. VR? Yet? What? I mean, no, no, I, I, I do. Sorry, I get it, but it also still hurts me. Like it hurts my head. It hurts my eyes. It's just, it's not. Well, do you need higher fidelity stuff for that to be improved? I think I need the. I need to get custom prescription lenses. I think that's. What but I, I don't think that will help with the Quest too. That you have, like, the, you need. We need higher resolution. There needs to be a better blend for us. To, it needs to be more convincing for us to not to like suspend disbelief and not have our heads hurt. Well, yeah, like, I mean, this is it, but this is, bro, this is heavy. I don't know, man. Well, the weight isn't I necessarily just, the problem. It's the distribution of the weight that bothers me, which is why yeah. on the Quest Pro 2, or the Quest Pro, sorry, not the 2, the Quest Pro, the weight is distributed differently. It's like, 
the batteries on the back, it curves around your head. It just looks That's like definitely. an all-around better experience. Oh, dude, I want it. Also, dude, it's more dude, focused on AR, right? too. Yes, I saw that. I mean, they definitely know what Apple's up to. There's, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like They have little birdies somewhere. And there's something about this that lines up. This was a, res- and they definitely did this earlier on purpose. They're yeah. getting ahead. This is right in time for the holiday season. This is uh, this is like, and you know what? You know what shocked me? Well, it doesn't really shock what? me, but I was watching Mark Zuckerberg like announce this, still mm-hmm. like a robot. But it just blows my mind that this kid from college that made Facebook a social network is now standing there telling me the future of AR and VR and sells a uh, sells a fucking headset. Like, how do you you couldn't uh, you couldn't predict your life would go that way? Yeah, that blows my mind, and it he's makes me like, feel like a piece of shit. So so no, fat. But Zuckerberg's like a piece of shit. I know, like, but he, he is a Facebook successful as a way piece to be of like shit. you're ugly. Like he was that commenter, bro. But it worked. That doesn't make it right, bro. Dude, he lives a lavish life. I would start out my career calling somebody <laughs> ugly too if it meant I could live like that. You're the problem. Jeez. This- I don't. I'm just- you're a terrible person. You wouldn't call somebody ugly a couple times to get to where he is, Sam. No, bro. I would Sam, not. Sam, you dick are lying to everybody money? right now. Not no. just money, all the money. I d- We're not talking like a quick twenty. I want to. I want to do it myself. I want to be a good. person. He did it himself. You're a terrible person. I'm not a terrible person. I'm just using people as step stones to my success. <laughs> Guys, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, John Prosser. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, it's me, the holiday season creeping in to tell you about Stamps.com. Stamps.com sponsoring today's episode. We love Stamps. What Dude. was that intro? It was Krampus. He's sneaking up because the holiday season has a way of doing that. And guess what, John? It's what, gonna Sam? be all of a sudden November because it's October now. All of a sudden it's gonna be December. Good job. And we're like, how do I ship all my packs? I got how are you gonna ship packs? the packs? You're gonna use stamps.com, John. <laughs> are we? How, listen, I've heard stamps.com is a lot of great things. You don't have to go to the post office for one. Yeah. But the biggest thing, Sam, I don't know if you know, maybe you can tell the audience, but I hear there mm. are some discounts. Oh, John. With inflation on the rise, every dollar counts. You can protect these margins with major discounts on USPS and UPS, up to 86%, 86% off. 86% off, dude. That's a thing, by the way. I've checked the prices there and then also ship the same package at an actual local store, and it, it is yeah. more expensive. Like You it just is get free money. Not, you save time. You don't have to leave the house. And 86%, like, why would you even, why wouldn't you use stamps.com? And guess what? It gets even better. If you go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top and use code genius, you'll get a four week, this is 100% off, by the way, not 86, 100%. <laughs> four week free trial, free postage, and a free digital scale. It's true. It's true. I got the scale. It's a great scale, man. It's five pounds. It's a, I, it's a I also game. have the scale. It's a great scale. Okay. Have you tried yeah. to weigh yourself with the scale? You no, know, I don't think it supports, you know. It does. I can't mail. I haven't it. tried to mail myself yet, but I'm just saying. Isn't that like a book series? Worth a try. Based off of? <laughs> yeah, there's a book series. Anyway, <laughs> sign up with the promo code Genius for a special offer that includes all that. We've talked about it. There's no long term mitment- commitments. No long term mitments. Okay. No. Stamps.com, code Genius, four week free trial, free postage, free scale. Stamps.com. Thank you for sponsoring this episode of Genius Bar. We love you. Let's okay. Let, let's look at the actual news. Other than uh, Facebook, do, what do we what do we have? There's really been nothing. Like I don't care about <sighs> iPads. Yeah, neither do I. Uh, I mean, USB C AirPods. AirPods. Oh yeah, those are coming. Uh, expect those by 2024. Oh, iPhone's going to get USB C next year. Yeah, confirmed, but we knew basically. that. We're just regurgitating news now. Everyone is you just you call it. We're re- all desperate. Re- regurgitating. <laughs> regurgitating. Um, we've got, what is this? What is this an ad for? Be safe? Like, what is it telling me to be safe for? Uh, look out for hussies. The message you clicked on was shown in place of an advertisement. Oh, so there's not actually an ad there. Gotcha. Anyway, okay. <laughs> look at this. USB-C, I don't really, I mean, that's kind of obvious if the iPhone's going. Oh, this was a big story. Yes. Our boy, he echoed your claims. Okay, 
Yeah, so Lost iPhone down. SE 4, huge changes, 6.1 inch display and a notch, which is, if you remember, like months ago, I said that the SE 4 is going to be the same design as the 10R from a few years ago. Okay. Uh, now that we have, so I'm going to be honest, Sam, can I be, can I be vulnerable on the show? Be vulnerable. I was already vulnerable. You'd be vulnerable now. I was, a, so we knew this information months ago. I said it like months and months, almost, I don't know, not a full year ago, but a, a long time. And then I mentioned it on the Geared Up podcast with Andrew Edwards and John Rettinger. You yep. picked up that story and it kind of like <laughs> went everywhere because you posted it on Apple Track. And that is how Apple Track do be working. <laughs> yeah, that is how it do be working. <laughs> and uh, we have been sitting on beautiful. I'm talking probably Ian's best work, beautiful renders Oh yeah, for yeah. like six months, long time, renders of this phone that I haven't released because I've been nervous. You know, once you botch an Apple Watch design, it, it worries you. You're scared. Yeah. You're scared to go on the line like that again. But now that Ross Young has come out and, uh, and said that, in fact, I think there was a similar leak like a couple months ago. Now, Ross Young is saying it. Now I feel a bit more comfortable, a bit more comfy to go out and put out our renders, you know? Mm. I mean, they're beautiful. They but are the I was best very, renders I've you, ever seen. What, you understand why I was nervous? You know, because like, once you botch a couple, stopped. yeah, once you botch a couple uh, designs, it's, more, it gets a little a scary. Apple Watch, Mac Mini, iPhone The Mac 14. Mini's not even out, bro. Uh, you, you've basically gotten nothing right in the past year. So I need this dub. You do. <laughs> That's what you you're need, saying. You need to tell the world that it is an iPhone XR. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Big risk. Yes. With the, with also, of glory. <laughs> also yeah. if uh, Apple is going to release everything through press releases this month, that's kind of my thing, so... Ooh, big man on campus. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Tim. I fucking dare you! <laughs> I, I mean, listen. This is something that I... I um... I feel like is on my mind. Uh oh, vulnerable Sam up in here. For no, no, not like this isn't me being vulnerable thing. This is just like a oh, person like in tech inside serious. baseball thing that might be interesting. Okay. But it's crazy what the Apple Stimmy does for like a tech personality in a channel. What did you just? What is an Apple Stimmy? That sounds like like when you're in with oh. Apple, like when Apple like frequently gives you phones and an Apple Stimmy. Okay. Yeah, and like did did you know? Like I've I've learned so much about this. Did you know that there's like a tier system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like an A tier, and those are like the Marquezes, the Andrew Edwards, the I Justines, the Sarah D. I, yeah, Sarah D. She's like A tier. She, she they they all get it on like Should we be like saying this publicly? I mean, you can just observe that they get the phones first. I yeah, I guess that's true. I don't think it's controversial. And then there's like the B tier, which are like other people. And then there's like a there's a C tier as well. So like A tier is like you can get the see phone. Who, whose videos come out a little bit later. You know, yes, that's the C tier. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so, it's like earliest videos are A tier. Yeah. Videos like a day or two after A tier is B tier, and then the C tier is you get it on launch day, but you still get the product sent to you from Apple. Yes. Um, I have never been on any tier list except the Z tier. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. on the Z tier of life. But um, but I'm working my I'm working my way up to C tier, man. It's a grind. Making my way down, down. But I, I was bringing that up to say, um, I actually really hope personally, selfishly, there is an event because it levels the playing field for everybody okay. else. Yeah. Like when Apple drops a press release, I Justine's going to be super late to that. Marquez is going to be super late to that because yeah. they have, you know, where I, I can hop in front of this mic and get the video out in 40 minutes. And you, if, if all goes to plan, you will have a heads up. Did yes, yeah, were we friends know. when those press releases were happening? Because there were friends that I would text and be like, "Hey, this is going to happen at this time," and they would like, "Well, you just tweeted it, right?" No, like as soon as I knew it, like the night before, I'd give a heads up. And oh, yeah, maybe not. Like obviously, I don't see the press releases ahead of time for legal purposes, <laughs> but if I know the time, I'll tell you, so you can be ready. But that's gotta be a that's gotta be a small group of people, right? <laughs> like that seems like that's that's just say that seems high risk. 
I wouldn't leak to John Prosser. Don't they, leak to John Prosser. When that was happening, they were... Uh, don't leak. Like, it, completely Leaking's innocent bad. people. Like, they don't realize where I'm getting it, so completely innocent people, like, that were in, that are in the tiers, they had to agree that they weren't giving me information. Because Apple was suspicious that it was those people. Yeah, because, like... I, but to, I'm to here be fair, to tell you, you haven't caught yeah. me yet, that's not where I'm getting it. Yeah, no, to be fair, a lot, I think Apple probably thinks it's like, oh, the YouTuber friends give it to John and I... Yeah. But the YouTuber friends don't even know it. Yeah, wait. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't know it. I mean, I guess they would know like an hour before if there's like a briefing yeah. or something, but no, like... Tricky, yeah, they, tricky! They but you've also talked about like how it's important to you to keep that professional relationship and like how you're not going to jeopardize... Yeah, you of know, course. Like you're not going to... I joke, you're not but gonna, I would never do anything that would... Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I don't, I don't leak. Just a, just heads up if anybody from Apple is watching. I'm not a leaker. Sam is not I, I'm a reporter on the leaks, which is a difference. I actually, I, when I there is a difference. Well, yes. I, I don't want to talk about that, but you know, there I, I've you know, I I'm not a leaker. Sam, you have anyway, dabbled. No longer, no longer. I'm a Rennie never Ritchie. again, never again, never again. Sam, yep. never again, never again. Nope, done. Not even if you. No, you're, what if someone sends you a video of the headset working? Nope. Good. No. No, thanks. Will you give not it interested. to me? No. I won't tell interested. anybody. No, not interested. What? Well, can you tell me why? Just because yeah, you want the I, relationship I, with I, Apple? Yeah. You can't Renee leak Ritchie leaked a, a bunch of stuff, and he's cool with them. <laughs> Back in the day. It was like so all ago. you have to do is leak stuff now, wait 10 years, and you're in. But also, like, I don't want my – you've built your brand on, like, you get exclusive stuff here first, which is really exciting. It's a great, like, marketing strategy for you and your brand and John Prosser. Okay. I don't want to be that. I just want to be, like, weird guy has fun with tech and it, he loves Apple too much. Like, that's what I want my brand to be. And I – But I've I seen really, you. I've seen you get spicy, worked up over a leak that when you have a leak and you know you get to share it. You get, you get excited. It's fun. You know it's fun. I, yeah, but I'm done. I don't – you're hanging I, up the boots. It's not worth. But I, I was never in. I was like, half you were the, a little in. You were, you were like just not, the tip. Yeah, but I'm not. I wanted. I, I'm not. I'm done. I'm not okay. doing it anymore. All right, I'm I won't not, pressure you. I, I have to start taking some steps if I like want to maybe have a relationship. And that's fair. And it's Do you want not, me to I, stop I leaking anything than, too? Just, so, just, yeah, just so you're safe. That would be great. That okay. would be actually amazing. Okay. Because yeah, you do. I'm pretty sure have a bad rap around Apple. I mean, I'm sure it's, sure I'm it's sure you're great. fine. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm, I don't know. I think I'm cool. I, I just, I just love Apple, but I just want to, anyway, I'm hoping that it, it is press releases and there's not an event because then we all get access to the news at the same time and we can yes. like videos just, you know, it, I, my point is to say like that Apple thing is like a little crazier than you think. Like people that don't get views on normal videos, if they attend an Apple event, will be getting a hundred, two hundred k on a video. Yeah, just because they have that access. So it's just. And it's I something hope it's fun. I hope it's like they like they did a couple of years ago, where it's like release, release, release. Like yeah. where they they actually made it fun. It was a press release, but they made it fun. I'm gonna predict. You know what? I'm gonna say it now. All right, you ready? Prediction. Prediction time. I think we're going to see a Monday, Tuesday. I think we're going to see a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday again. That would because, be fucking awesome. Those are aw those are great to look forward to. That's what they did in March yeah. of 2019. Okay. And uh, Apple has their earnings call on Thursday, the 27th, I believe, of October. And German hinted like they do launches that week. So I feel like he's heard something. And that's like, I don't think it was exactly the same. But the thing that's interesting about 2019 is Apple actually announced a March event. And we got these products before then because it was the Apple TV and Apple Card and streaming event. Yeah. So I I think we could see just I I mean I I'm just guessing like iPad Pros one day, uh, MacBook Pros, and Mac Mini second day, and then maybe base iPad third day or maybe Apple TV third day. I could see that. Yeah. That would be fun, man. I get to make three video like oh. I've that'd never be so asked fun. you. I, are you an Apple TV kind of guy? Uh, do you use that's actually the only product probably that I don't own the newest highly recommend of. and I don't I don't use it I, I've <laughs> frankly it's out of my own uh, mistake I lost the remote years ago you can use and your remotes, iPhone 
you see you can't connect to it on a new uh, network that's different than your college network when you lost the remote. Why don't you get another one? They're a hundred bucks. <laughs> Just exchange your MagSafe battery pack. Oh, for also TV. I have a play, I have a PS5. I don't need. You use a PS5 to like to watch Netflix and game. Yeah. Huh, that's Apple very interesting. TV. I feel like I just learned a lot about you as a person. Well, all, yeah, in, a, all in one I sentence. I have a PlayStation, or I just watch it on my laptop on like the counter when I eat. I don't. Uh-huh. I don't need the Apple TV, and it, it's just not powerful enough to be like a competent. Uh, you watch game. Netflix on your iPad Mini, huh? That's <sighs> I what I thought. IPad Mini. Is it charged right now? No, no. It's in the. Hey. I, it's actually been untouched for probably two months. Are now. you lying? No, it's in the other room. <sighs> you no just cap. wait. I'm going to get you, last year was a joke, but I'm going to get you the best. My birthday's coming up. You realize it's in two days, right? It's literally not, but okay. Good answer. You remember. That of course I do. Test. Anyway. Can we get friendship bracelets? <laughs> Want to get matching tattoos? That'd be really cute. <laughs> Let's get genius tatted <laughs> yeah. right above our, our butt. <laughs> yeah. Our, ba- our lower back. So uh, genius tram stamp. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get you the best gift. Don't know what it is really? yet. Oh, I was going to say, like, if you knew, I want to know. Hey, should we show them the new merch? Should we, I? No, 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 actually, we shouldn't. Sam, no. I'm doing it. No, Sam, do not. I'm, I'm, I'm cutting away. It. You I'm cannot look it. at Sam. No, just for a second. Did you do it? Did get. it work? I'm afraid get. that, the, but you get. know them, dude. They're going to CSI enhance that. That's all they get. That's all they get. Coming soon. I'm glad the majority of our big. listeners are through audio because they will never know. Yes, it's going to be You big. know what, it's Sam? Shout out to the audio listeners. You know, the majority of our audience is Are listening to the show. Sam? No, hang I on. Because I that, think you might be wrong now. I'm not. Eh, maybe now. <laughs> <laughs> but like <laughs> a large, large portion of our audience, the listeners, are through audio. And I feel like they don't get enough love. Like the show isn't catered to them as much as it should be like we talk about seeing stuff too much you know they can't see stuff you're right you're right okay i'm looking so let's go to top episodes in the past let's let's just go to all time i'll look at the it's really funny whoa that's really interesting this this is some interesting stats our number one episode ever on audio is with snazzy labs quinn is it really it really is and the second one is with renee ritchie and the third one is with Brian Tong. Looks like when you guess then. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you guys don't even like us for us. Okay, wow. I see how it is. These do get more listens than I actually thought, though. That's what I'm saying. Have you ever looked? Like, our, we have a really dedicated audio listening audience. Hmm. Yeah. Well, some, And we like don't, we don't do. simp for them enough. We're, we're like, we're, we're, cause we can see each other. We try to talk to the YouTube audience more when really the podcast listeners, they need more love, you know? Yeah. No, they really. Wow. So that's interesting. Our, like our last episode did really well on. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, our, and it idea. builds over time do. because they lit. It's like when they have time, they listen to the newest episode, but if they miss the last one, they'll, they'll like speed run that and listen to that one too. So it, it's audio listens are way more interesting than YouTube stuff. The stats are very interesting and we don't love them enough. So audio We're, listeners, uh, thank you for listening to us. Shout out to all you guys. Uh, let's well, in fact, let me, let's read over some Apple podcast reviews right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good or bad. Sure, I'm about sure to read them on the show. Day? Yeah, I know you I'm are looking. so, so fat. No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I listen to this to go to sleep, but it's so good I stay awake and get a little sleep. <laughs> Thanks, Sam and John. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a bad one about Sarah Dietschy, so I'm not going to read that one. That oh, was not no, fair. Why? That was not nice. Fuck that person, man. Uh, great, oh, they're, li- just, they're just a misogynist. Yeah, great lift me up just, show. Just Always make me laugh and feel good because these guys love it so much. The ads are also actually enjoyable to listen to. Isn't that nice? Terrible, terrible podcast, podcast no, no structure, structure <laughs> no chapters complete waste of life and time <laughs> wow that is a uh... are you sure about that that was the best podcast ever all separate words i love this podcast so much it makes me laugh to the point where i can't breathe thank you guys for making my day so much better keep doing amazing job i love you y'all should breathe, though these are cute oh kick out john john is an annoying fat cook <laughs> Is that a real one? Holy shit. 
Why are people bullying you? I don't like the that. Host, I want to beat. You I'm know gonna what's interesting? First Nikki of all, L. how do Pay they know? Up. Okay, this is the audio. These are the audio listeners. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, <laughs> but it's like they were so mad that they went over here just to say that. Anyway, the I, what I found is the audio listeners. These these podcast reviews they pick on me, and the YouTube comments pick on you. <laughs> One is just called incoherent rambling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the positive reviews on Apple Podcasts. Thank you so much. What are we rated? What's our star rating? 4.8. 4.8. Not bad. Listen. 918 ratings. YouTube watchers, viewers, we love you so much and we need your help. Go over to Apple Podcasts right now. Subscribe to the show if you haven't already. And give us a, we need, we need to be a 4.9 at least. Do we chart on the podcasts anymore? Because now I want to check that I don't as know. well. Because we we used to, but I think Mark you have has to just you kinda... have to check it like when the episode goes out. Yeah. So yeah, we're way behind. Hey, okay, some of these aren't like the TED Radio Hour. That come on. Like, okay, listen, you can't check until an episode goes out because of course this is a week after the podcast episode went out, so that it doesn't count right now. I mean, I just I want to feel validated. Uh, well, after we just read those reviews, I don't know how you could possibly feel validated. Yeah, we're we're sitting at eighty on the chart. That's Bro, not hold on. We're sitting at eighty a week after we released an episode. That's pretty good. But the Mac Rumor Show is beating us. That's it. That's won't. pretty embarrassing for those. The two Mac cucks. Rumor Show just came out. Sorry, it's just it's the only cuck there is Dan. Dan the cuck. Just kidding. Everybody's gonna be like, "Oh my god!" Uh, no, we, I actually we love Dan. Dan yeah, unironically. Okay, I'm just gonna say this because I he'll he'll be like, this is so annoying that everyone thinks this. I watched Dan's videos and I was like, Dan doesn't have a personality. <laughs> and then I met Dan, and unironically, Dan is like, he said some really personal stuff to me that was very meaningful, that made me feel loved. Would you like to and share it here on the show? No, no, we don't have to go into that today. But he's just like a really good dude. Okay. And I just really fuck with Dan from Mac Rumors. And Hartley's also amazing. Like I love Hartley. There, I Hartley the, person, everyone but. from everyone from there is great except for Yeah, Shane. no, like I just I just want to give a shout out to like Dan Barbera. He's like Every, really everyone from Mac Rumors dude. is great except for Sammy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm kidding. We no love bowling. Sammy. We love Sammy. Yeah, we can okay. say that because he knows the truth. He knows he's cool with us. Yeah. Wow, I mean, yeah. So we gotta get we gotta get our numbers up. We gotta we gotta be Lex Sam. Friedman. I don't know why you're not listening to me. Check when I, the episode goes know, out, but... brother. Right now, it's the end of the week. We got the the only people listening right now are the trailers. You know, the ones like, that the ones that haven't been able to hear all week. There's like ten people listening right now. Nine to five Mac daily is beating us, bro. It's daily. It goes out daily. Oh, actually, our episode is really close to Mac Rumors. We're only one behind, and their episode is the one that came out today. So our episode from Friday is number sixty-five. That's why you're not listening to me. That's their episode good. came out today, and we're behind them, and we haven't released an episode yet. The Apple Insider podcast is higher than us, though. Come oh, on, Sam. Why don't you listen to my words? It's like I'm talking, but they're not. It's just bouncing off your forehead. Now you sound like my freaking mom. Freak you, mom. Freak you. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Food. Yes. Can you tell that this is the HelloFresh read? I can. You know why? Sponsored by HelloFresh. Yes. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for sponsoring Dude. the show. Good longtime sponsor. We love them. They feed our bellies and they sponsor mm. our show. What, what more could you ask for, dude? They give us money to talk about them and they feed us. Bro, it's just the best. It's made me like actually start to enjoy cooking and I'm mad because I'm not supposed to like cooking and it's just always so good and it's like perfect portions for the meal. You never waste anything. Makes you feel good. It's the freshest fruits and veggies. It goes straight from the farm to your door. I think the farmer dry again, I've never seen UPS or FedEx drop it off. I think a farmer drops the stuff off right to my door. It comes in bags. It comes with instructions. You read the instructions. Every ingredient that you need, no more, no less, is in that bag. Cooking mm -hmm. under 30 minutes, and guess what, Sam? What? Would you say I'm thinner? Maybe. I had a comment yesterday that said, I'm so, so fat. That's how they said it. They said I'm looking so, so fat, but I don't think so. I think HelloFresh has me looking so, so good and so, yeah. so fresh. <laughs> Well, hey, if you want to look so, so good, go to HelloFresh.com. And, so, so and, and so, so fresh. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Genius65 and use code Genius65 for 65% off plus free shipping. 
That's HelloFresh.com slash Genius65. Use code Genius65 for 65% off plus free shopping. That's so much. HelloFresh, thank you for sponsoring the show. And thank you for keeping me so, so fresh. And so, so cute. And so, so hello. There's no other yeah. news that we can talk about? Have we really we really gone all the way? I mean, I can I can check back. Like, it's, it's there's, I mean, you know, you, you, you have been uploading every day. You know, it's been slow iPadOS 16.1 is coming the week of the 24th. Therefore, there's probably going to be products then. Uh, Touch ID is never coming back. That's fine. Oh, yeah. You're cool with that? So no Touch ID. It's Well, I, I want it, but I, I do understand. I Face want ID it too. has gotten dramatically better. Especially like now being able to, Masks. to work from multiple angles. So good. Um, also... <laughs> So I have wanted that. I know they've been testing Touch ID on, on multiple devices, on prototypes, but they've apparently given up on that idea. No Touch ID, Face ID forever. And I'm fine with that because Face ID works. It's invisible. Touch ID is not. Face ID is invisible, and that's why I like it. You don't even know it's working. It just works. When you look at your phone, it is already unlocked. It, you don't, it doesn't even ask you. Sorry, why are you laughing? Distracted. I just got distracted thinking about something else that no one in the tech community has talked about. Am I allowed to completely ignore what you said and move on to a new subject? I mean, that's what you do anyway, so go ahead. <laughs> so, do you know that the iPhone 14 ad, bl like, blew up on on social media? And, it, like, in oh, the it? meme community. Oh, in the meme community? Yeah. Why? Uh, Is it a bad answer? Because, yeah, I'm not going to lie. When I first listened to it, I also said they were saying a different word. Wait, can you play it for us? Yeah, I've got it on my laptop. Oh, the regular iPhone 14. Okay. October 7th. We're thrilled about iPhone 14. Let's take a look. It's the biggest bonus of the summer. Oh, oh. Oh God! Oh God! So, so like, to, look, hang like, on. I, I we no, need to clarify. Like, look at this XQC, like eight hundred thousand views on a reaction to this. Okay, and no well, one in the tech community has talked about for, this. For at audio all. listeners, what you just heard. See, I got to take care of them right now. For audio listeners, what you just heard was an official, official soundtrack to the ad for the iPhone 14 from Apple. Okay, Sam, what is it actually saying? Because I didn't hear anything else. Bigger. Bigger. That's what it's bigger. saying? It's they the couldn't have thought that was going to work. Do. Dude. Play it again. Play it reactions. again. Like, like I, okay, I show speed. This is a massive Twitch creator. Like, one of the biggest on the platform. Two million views on a reaction to Apple's ad. Like, the amount of organic reach this got. Oh, my God. Why am I doing tech news? His face. <laughs> like, bro, it it sounds That's like it's rough. Not, I'm not gonna lie. It when okay, when I was at Apple Park for the event watching on the little 720p TV they had me set up at. Yeah. That is also what I heard, and I was like, that's a wild way to start an ad they for the didn't most run, they didn't run iPhone? it by more people before they released that or, or maybe they're saying make it make it make it make it what make song it. is this it? the biggest bounce of the summer <laughs> oh i just realized we're gonna get copyright struck probably for doing that no we're talking over it it's fine Okay, okay. Fair use uh, we'll fight them on it dude okay. i will fight them to the death so yeah they're like xqc reacts to it like <laughs> this one's good. Oh, the sirens! Oh, Shout that's out. you. I thought that was the video. They're saying, "Make it, make it." Make like make it. That's what it is. Are you sure? Let's look at the lyrics. Okay, so uh, let's do this. iPhone 14 ad song. Uh, 
Oh, biggest by Idris Elba. Biggest lyrics, Idris Elba. Biggest bounce of the summer. What is the chorus? I can't see. Hey, let me zoom in on this. It says, biggest bounce of the summer. Man will keep going to the sun up. Hey, my girl, what you saying? <laughs> Man will hit the skins like a drum. Can, hey, can someone can someone just put the video of the ad, but with Sam rapping it in the background, please? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I got to find it. I got to find it. We, we. Biggest. We, big. We, it's biggest. Look. Oh, the, biggest. 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 This is the biggest bounce of the summer. Don't do 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 today. <laughs> it doesn't sound like that's what they're saying. Wow. How does the word biggest sound so not like that? It's like I think it's probably just the singer's voice, like Idris's voice. Really go for it. Let me hear what it I, sounds like. Really go for it, Sam. <laughs> Sam, this is your moment. Go for it. Wait, what? It's what biggest. 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 This is the biggest bounce of the summer. <laughs> okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. That didn't sound anything like it did. Okay, I I'm think also, they. I think they did this on purpose as a viral marketing, like a marketing campaign. I mean, it worked. Dude. That man is not saying biggest. I'm sorry. That's not what he's saying. I refuse to believe that. And I think Apple needs canceled. He is. No, Apple needs canceled. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. Was this created just for the iPhone? It says it was released September 7, 2022. Well, they create. That's what I'm saying. Viral marketing campaign. This was. Really? This was. They did this on purpose, Sam. They did this on purpose, and we need to do something about this. We need to start a movement right now. Genius, geniuses. Whoa. Unite. Cancel Apple. Cancel Tim Cook. So yeah, biggest. The music video came out like basically when the iPhone did. I. They might have commissioned that song. That's really interesting. Don't they usually? No, I feel like they just like no, they've u- they use like they've used glass animals, they use Oliver Tree for ads. So they no, so they, they did this on purpose. They did this to create this viral marketing campaign. And Wait, uh Yeah, no, it doesn't sound like biggest. Not at all. Not even a little <laughs> bit. I just I, I haven't seen a single person in the text space commented and like this thing in like that we all care about, like Apple, is blown up and I'm like it it because I yeah I, it, I, I can't believe it, no one like, has talked about it. I was like, oh, I guess because Apple's like a popular company, streamers just react to it to like try to get some of like the tech clout. And then it, no, it was just for the meme potential. And uh, I mean, huh. they're not they're not wrong. <laughs> we'll say that. Oh, very yeah. interesting. Anyway, that's uh, that's life, man. Wow, well, we ending it on a, a on a somber moment. You know, Apple is officially canceled. Like a, this we is did it. Of age foga. You know, John. Even though we're going to different schools next year, I think we'll still be best friends forever. Biggest, biggest, biggest. I don't like when you summer. say it. You live a little too south. To... Oh come on, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> hey, my my parents are actually in your home state right now. Wait, why? Can I see them? No. No, like I'm not allowed, or no, yeah. they're too far no, away. No, I don't. I don't want you to be anywhere near them, ever. I'm gonna text your mom right now. Dude, I would she's sleep. Nah. Yes. Okay. She'll get to me. She'll get back in the morning. Yeah, but she wakes up sometimes. She leaves it on because she, you know, she's worried that her son's gonna text her and be like, "Help, mom! I'm dying." I mean, okay. But she doesn't. She shouldn't care about you, so don't text her. <laughs> but she does. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I don't know. Anything else happening? It was World Mental Health Day yesterday. Thank you, world. Shout out to everybody struggling with OCD, shout out to anxiety, mental health. Depression, you, shout out to mental health. Mental health. You kicked our ass. Uh, what are the, the other ones? Eating disorders. You guys got this. Stay strong, bro fist. Uh yeah. Uh shout it's out to out the here. shout out to the people that have a macaroni and cheese addiction. I'm with you. You know? We're struggling together. More like depressaroni. 
addiction. Yeah, if you're drinking Depresso, man, listen. <laughs> Sometimes you wake up to a hot, steamy cup of Depresso and like, you just drink oh, it. Dude, I just like with the the heartbreak and stuff, like my anxiety is just it's not been great. Like I every like by the end of the day, I'm I'm good. Do you want to talk about it? We're at the end of the like, show. Dude, just just the start of the day has been it's been brutal, Do you want me to change the water mac the water make? Make this the sad bar. Idiot bar? <laughs> Oh, Sam. I'm so sad about your repression. I'm sad about your depresso. I'm sad yeah. about you, honestly. Well, how are you doing? Because you were going through a rough time. Do you want to talk? Pretty good. Do you want to, do you want to trauma dump on the people? No, I'm pretty good right now. I have a question. Check and, back with me next week, though. I have a question. <laughs> I have a question. I'm going to ask this without giving away what I'm referring to. Are you ever going to talk about the past few months publicly? Or do you think you're just going to... Let her slide. Like, I would, is, that, is that something you've thought about? Yeah. And I obviously the opportunity has presented itself because somebody put it out there in the ether that was not me, some of it. And uh, I did not participate. I did not engage in, or entertain said drama. I just don't want to be about that. My, You know, that's not... Uh, I. I don't want to include my drama on the internet. I don't want to talk about it. And uh, just know that we're all human, you know? We're all human. Sure. We go through shit. Yeah, uh, I don't think there will ever be uh, a time where I or I openly talk about that. No. Okay. No, that's fair. Yeah. I I feel like that's the right call, probably. And yeah, it's just like we we don't need to talk about it. Really, I think is is the is the thing. Like it happened, it sucked, but like we all go through shit, and you know, they. I, I just want to give people tech news and fart jokes. I'm proud of you, bro. Thanks, man. I'm proud of you. You're a strong man. Yeah, but you know, that's all that yeah. need, that's all that I need. Yeah, you're doing better. Yep, yeah. that's a good thing. <laughs> mental real. mental health section. No, of the show. but I, we, I we definitely we had, need a watermark for this. We didn't talk. <laughs> we did, we did like a trigger warning as well. I know. And, um, but no, I just I saw World Mental Health Day, and when I saw it yesterday, I was like, ah, oh, we should talk about that on Genius Bar because yeah, because we talk about it all the time. Yeah, what have been a, been uh, listen, hard. I'm not gonna say that. Listen. This is not my place. You know, I'm not the agency. I don't make the schedule, but I'm saying better help. This was your chance. This was a good opportunity. Yeah. And they, they didn't sponsor today's show, did they? They did not. Okay. Did not. Then we're but done no, talking about them. Therapy. Go to go to therapy, man. Go to therapy. Well, not, not, ask for help. Should, but... Ask Sam for help. No, don't ask me for help. Because Sam I is don't very helpful. Sam has helped me a lot. So reach out to Sam. Oh my gosh, bro! No, I can't. <laughs> I'm. I can't be a counselor for the whole world. I can barely counsel myself. <laughs> I've got therapy tomorrow. I'm gonna be talking to. I guess I shouldn't say the therapist name, but my therapist. We're gonna. We're gonna go deep. Actually, we're not gonna go. Good deep. luck. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna be like, I'm still sad, and then she'll be <laughs> like, All right, what are we gonna do about this? I'll be like, No, be less sad. My, I'll be like, Not accept my emotions, and she's like, Is that <laughs> is that helpful? Have you found it helps? If you just you know don't accept it, I'll be yeah. like, No, <laughs> and then she'll be like, What if you practice acceptance? And I'll be like, Shut up, shut. Up. I don't want to. I want to be sad forever. I'm never finding love. This is dumb. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, we all go through stuff. I'm proud of you, Sam. There, yeah, there's nothing that um, you know, I. I just can't see a universe where I would talk about what happened or what is currently happening publicly just because I don't need to bother everyone with it. It's like, you know, I don't ask everyone in the audience. I'm not like, Hey, tell me what is the worst thing in your life right now? <laughs> like they just yeah. come to me for, I just want to make people laugh. And yeah, it's like not, not in a rude way, but it's not anyone else's business, not in a rude way. I don't mean that it's like, fuck you guys. You don't need to know. But like, yeah. truthfully, they they don't need to know. They just they just want to laugh. Yeah. No. It's it's a it's a lot. And it's a it's like so. There's so many layers. Like. Yeah. Yeah. It would be yeah. a, it would be like an hour. It would be a mistake. We could spend an entire episode talking about. And also, John uh, life. and also, it would really affect the lives of some people that I just don't want to bother with. So. Yeah. No, you're, that's good, bro. I didn't mean to bring it up if it was... No, 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 that's cool. Because a lot of people have been wondering, I'm sure. And some people listening to this, watching this, have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. Some people do, and they can pick up the hints and take it and leave. Yeah. Yeah. Any whore. Anyway. Anyway. Um, 
I mean, yeah, new Apple products on the horizon. I guess we'll yeah. Hopefully, the next few episodes phone? will be more exciting because we're getting close to the. Uh, what you, if they do product release Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? We should do Genius Bar Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We should just drop an episode every day. <laughs> no, bro, because I want to be. <laughs> That'll be fun. I'm gonna be making my own videos on it. That it day. only takes an hour of the day. Oh, but no. What I'm if they're excited. just short, like half hour episodes? We we better get some. And ads it equals an hour and a half for free. I ain't working for free. That's true. You don't want to just give it to the people. We were going to no. do this show for free when we started. You remember that before we did do uh, the show for free before the the money came and took us before the billions <laughs> came. Yeah, before the billions happened. Yeah, we were but, so wholesome. Yes, look out, Genius Dot Supply soon. Big stuff. I've been working on it for you. Didn't really. I didn't really get a good look. You didn't really show them, did you? There's a frame where you can probably pause it. We have some smart people out there. Speaking of last for the last second, <laughs> what? Just you've said. Speaking of, I feel like I've said like moving on. We've, we've speaking we've of two hundred. Speaking like of moving miles. on. Speaking of moving on. Yeah. Uh, Shamir Jackson once again. Mm. Uh, he goat. does uh, every week. The goat. He does uh, He does the timestamps for the episodes. We never asked him to do it. He's, he just does it every week. He shows up for us every week. And uh, thank you, Shamir. Uh, we really appreciate you. And yeah, just want to make sure that you get the love you deserve. Shamir Jackson is the GOAT, quite frankly. He is the GOAT. He's the GOAT. We never asked him to do that, and he does it for us every week. Don't know why. He's like the OG. He's been here since like episode one as well. For, I, think he, I think he did the timestamps since episode one. Wow. So Shamir, thank you, bud. We really appreciate you. Yeah, thanks everybody for listening. This is my favorite thing that I do now. <laughs> really? Like over eye update? Yeah, I want to quit YouTube. Wait, are you? Come here. Come here. Get off the screen. No, a I, don't, bit. I don't want to get quit off the YouTube. screen a little bit. I get off wanna... the screen, Sam. Get off the just just play along. Are you serious? It looks like a whispering in your ear, but from like the opposite wall. Are you serious? Are you okay, bud? No, I'm not serious, and I am okay. Okay. Do you want to quit YouTube for real? No, I just have realized that I can't be my full true self on YouTube because you have to optimize for what the audience wants and the audience doesn't sometimes want you. They want the information. And so I just have been struggling with like, I have to be more content focused where on here I feel like I can be myself and I'm very appreciative for this outlet. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you no, want to just good, good you want to just do what H three did and just quit like our regular stuff and just go Dude, f- full force into this. I, oh, that is my long term goal. That's not even a joke. You would you would quit like okay if That's Genius not, Bar if Genius Bar was like John, John John if Genius Bar started to outweigh our regular stuff, would you go full force into Genius Bar and leave your regular videos? But here's the thing. If we both quit our channels, we could take a large portion of our audience to here and then hire a team to build out the podcast. We could literally do H3 but for tech. But I'm asking, would you do that? Absolutely. Not even a question. Yes. You, I I couldn't see a universe where I quit from page tech. Oh, yeah. No, I would. I Yes. That would wow. be so much more fun. We could do like segments. We could have like people coming in. Oh, yeah. No, the, I, I love... Huh. I would love to switch to... There was... Fun fact. There was a period of front page tech. I think it was season three or season That'd four. Where, uh, so very early on, where, you know, I was doing front page tech for years where there were no results. It was getting like 100 views a video, 200 views a video. And there was a point where I almost quit. And I decided instead of quitting, maybe I'll try a daily podcast. So front page tech was a half hour every day. I did a podcast. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. And then eventually I just like, I just got reinvigorated with creativity and I started doing the regular show again. I quit doing the podcast. I don't want to do a daily podcast though. I just want to do like maybe two episodes a week if we did it full time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But no, I, I mean, I listen, I love doing YouTube. I'm very grateful for it. I just, um, it's just like a lot of, it's just a lot of work, man. (laughs) It's just (laughs) a lot. It's a lot. Like I, I'm like, like I still get my, get my AirPods two review. I got to get my Apple watch ultra review. I had to make this video today. I've got to get You're doing an AirPods two review? Uh, yeah. What are you saying? You have to watch the review because I also have not entirely decided what direction I'm taking. <laughs> I have not decided. Because I know how I feel about it. I just don't know. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Just one? One <laughs> yeah. free question? Maybe. What is it? No, you have to agree. Okay, one free question. Are you going to use them instead of your baby AirPods 3? No. Nope. Can't. That's okay. The problem. I won't. I, you don't need to dive deeper. That was my one free question, That's but I'm problem. shocked. problem. 
Huh, wow. I'm upset. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of... Uh, here, let me ask you for advice. Go ahead. They don't work for me. Yeah. So my one idea for the video is I hate Air- AirPods Pro 2. And it's going to be about how every single part of them is the best ever and they're so cool and the sound quality is incredible, yeah. but they don't work for me, so I hate them. Because I know it. there's other people like me out there that I've heard in the past that they don't fit in. Yeah, the so other like, angle- I like that angle. Go is going to be me getting like foam ear tips and basically trying to make them work. But I'm, there's also part of me that's like, well, that's not the product as it's designed. Well, that's the thing. You could keep your original narrative and just at the end throw in that you tried foam ear tips and tell us yeah. the results. Because I haven't. It doesn't change the title. Yeah, and I've tried. I've tried the. Um, I've tried the like the bigger ear tip sizes. What what I think I need is like an XL. Like they did an XS. I think I need an XL. Gotcha. Because they they still come out. <sighs> I'm sorry yeah. for that. Me I mean, too. that's why there there are aftermarket ear tips. But you're right. the The review itself should be able to be like, "This is what Apple gave me, and this is what I think." But or then even at if the Apple end, Apple sold something like maybe. But then at the end, throw. I mean, I think it's worth trying aftermarket ear tips and just throw it in. Can at you the end send of the video. me a link to some? Because I don't know. Sure. Did yeah, you, like, I, you I have any? some. Oh, okay. Yeah, just send me. A Not link that I'm going to send you those, but I don't like them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't like. Uh, I I got foam ear tips, and I don't like them. They're too like they're too much. Yeah, that, that's what I feel like I'll be. I mean, AirPods. But I think I think it could help fit. fit so well. It could fit in your ear because of them. Or I, I wonder if they can you pull up on our separate screen Amazon to see if they sell just like XL silicone tips. Yeah. Because uh, that could be your ticket. That could be my ticket. Um, let's go AirPods Pro tips. Um, like XL. Can you type XL? Uh, small, medium, Let's large, go. small, medium, large sample pack. Yeah. These are not looking promising. <laughs> 12 pieces. What? Foam masters, foam ear. Wow. 2000 of these. So this is probably a common three pairs replacement tips. Hmm. Small, medium, large. You don't need that. You need XL dude. Why doesn't anyone make XL? These also are weird. Like I feel like these are going to totally change the sound profile. Well, they do, but in a good way. So like the foam ear tips that I have really helped the bass response because it's a better it's a better seal. Mm. The issue was just I didn't like the way the foam felt in my ears. They were they yeah. worked great, the seal was great, the bass response was great, but I just liked the casual feel of the silicone tips. Yeah. I mean, in-ear headphones just don't work for me and I'm It kind of blows love, my mind that uh, no one sells XL silicone tips. I feel like I saw one, this one I oh, think. XL. But it's like those, I can't. Those look promising. Yeah. I would get a pair just to try. How much are they? Nine bucks? Ten bucks. Okay. Well. Worth a, a try. Exclusive deal. Because okay. like you said, they this has nothing to do with your review, but like you said, they sound the best. Everything you love everything okay. about them, so you might as well try something to make them work for you. All right, I'll, I'll and if a twelve forty nine upgrade makes them work for you, then that's that's great. Yeah, but no, AirPods Happy three just fit my ear perfectly. So, AirPods three, it is. But I want the I, I want the charging case. I want them to come up with like a new charging case with the speaker and the. Phone I would line. be totally cool if AirPods Pro two were portless. Oh really? Like no lightning. Like if, if AirPods if the if like those AirPods were portless, perfect. They work with the Apple Watch charger now, they work on the wireless mm. charger. It's like they're MagSafe compatible. You don't need a port. I have yeah. never plugged anything into them. But to be fair, a lot of people have iPhones only, I feel like. And AirPods. True. Or Macs and AirPods, and now the Mac ships with MagSafe and not USB C. So Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Well, thanks for giving me to give away my whole damn review. You're welcome. No, keep your review the way it is. But no, I'm I'm mad. I hate them because they're like the best ever. And I'm just like, oh. I think that's a good title. I if tr- I think of a better me, one, I'll text it to and, you. Okay, let me be clear. They don't fall out of my ears. I just have to constantly push them back in. Like the seal breaks, you know. Oh, uh, I, like, I know what you mean, yeah. Like it's like it's not a – the sound quality is like worse than – any headphone like because you know they, they, they get far away and then it's not optimized like it just i can feel it sliding out i constantly have to push it back in it, it messes yeah. with my workout so i've tried man i tried like i really I i'm really ready for tried. trying you know 
Yeah. And okay. I also got to get my Ultra video out. Like, I love this product and it's amazing. And more people. Are you going to prioritize it. that review over AirPods or no? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, there's so much. I and I need to do more TikTok and social media. I just need more cash. Why do you need have, to do more TikTok? What does TikTok have to do with this? Because I got to grow to socials to then. Just sell prioritize the your. Just, no, just fucking prioritize no, what you I need, need to, to grow. Bro, people. You're killing me. Somebody I know. That ungodly amount of money for a few Instagram stories and two TikToks. Okay, that's fine, but you have a bunch of stuff on your plate right now. Prioritize it. Do your out, do your reviews, and then focus on your TikTok and stuff. Do what's going to reward you right now and what TikTok. is timely right now. TikTok, TikTok isn't going to do shit for I'm you right now. Stop. It's a part, but you have to invest. But you're right. You're right. Don't invest after your reviews are out. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Do you ever sit back like this? Am I the only one that just like sit no, in this horrible posture? No, I do. Also, am I holding the mic close enough for you this time? Actually, yes. I'm very proud of you. The whole episode, you've been great. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, well, we, this is a long episode. This is a longer episode, I feel like, than we've had in a while. Yep. Wow. So you got anything else going on this week? You got a busy, anything coming up? Tomorrow. What's tomorrow? First leak in a while. Wait, why well, you didn't tell me that? Tomorrow's iPhone SE? Yep. Oh. Tomorrow, well, the day this comes out, yeah. We should have shown the renders then. I don't, they're being finalized. Like everything, been it's going to happen. At, no, you know, Ian, he's photoshopping shadows and shit. Everything has to be perfect. That's why he's the goat. True. Well, send they've me been a, finalized, send me a but when they're the about fo- to go send out, me a link Ian to goes. The, the images. I'll, do you want to see the animation right now? I've seen some of the stuff he showed me when he was in St. Louis. Have you seen the animation? Yeah, where they like collapse together. Yeah. Mm-mm. There's multiple. <laughs> Anyway, can you send me a link to the folder, bro? I don't have the folder yet. They're not finalized. When That's what I'm saying. It, can you They're send finalized, it to me? but then Ian goes right before we're releasing it, like, oh, there's a speck of dust here I need to fix. Thank you for watching and listening and listening, mostly listening. We love you so much. Thank you for oh, listening. Oh, we did it. We made it through. We made now it through we can, the show. Now we can play VR Let's ping go. Pong. Thank you for watching. VR listening. Ping Pong. Genius Bar. Let's go. Biggest, 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 biggest